When you look at this laptop, it shows a broken screen, as you can see. This is a Lenovo ThinkPad E470 laptop, and it's having a broken screen. And the only most available way of dealing with this such kind of problem is by replacing the entire screen. So ladies and gentlemen, join me as we replace this LCD for Lenovo ThinkPad E470 right away without wasting any of our time. Let's dig in to the video about the diversity solutions to excellence. Now, first things first, we need to first shut down the laptop before carrying out any operation for so for this laptop i think it can uh, we can just shut it down so once we are done shutting it down we can then start with our operations and uh, see how we can replace this screen so right away on the screen bezel We'll go to the corner, corner of the laptop and get our presser tool here. Then there is a sharp edge here that we need to point our our presser tool and ensure that we remove the screen bezel first. So we look for an angle and then unlock those available locks on the screen bezel I can show you from this angle keep unlocking the screen bezel Do this gently and also this other side you can remove the power cord also this side So this is our screen bezel. We are done removing it. Once we are done, once we are done removing the screen bezel, we focus on uh, these four screws that we have here. We have this screw number one, two, three, and four. These screws that attach the screen to the to the frame, we unscrew those. So starting from the lower one, the downer ones. That's screw number one. Then we get the second screw, which is this one. We go to the third screw, which is this one here. Now on the upper side, there are two screws, but we are focused on the ones which are inner, the inner screws, because they are the ones holding the screen, the LCD onto the frame. Then we get the, th the fourth one and the last one. Do that gently now once that is done we can then uh, gently flip the screen onto the bottom or rather the keyboard surface just like this and once that is done we can then you see there is a connecting fiber connecting the LCD so and it it and, and it has a, a seal tape a sealing tape which we need to first remove so that we disconnect the connector and uh, successfully remove the LCD screen. So and it's always tight. So gently you have to remove the tape. 
maybe bringing it closer for you to uh, view it very well. This is what we are removing. Move the tape gently and you have to remove it carefully because if you don't it will uh, remove this uh, surface also. Let's remove it gently. So once it's removed, we can then unlock let me see if you can see. We can then unlock, unlock the connector, unlock the connector, and then pull it out gently. So that's a. Uh, This is our screen that we are replacing. This is the screen that we are replacing, the broken screen. You see it's even having dots here, meaning that it's uh, already dead. So now I have uh, I have a spare screen that I need, that I would like to replace. And uh, this one I got it from uh, Amazon, uh, it was shipped from Amazon, and uh, you see they, they look they look kind of similar. And uh, before you make any orders, you have to ensure that uh, you could. Before you make any orders, you have to first make sure that you you have the serial numbers and the exact uh, specifications of the screen that you would like to look at. So I, since I already ordered this, I got the specifications here. If you can see. The specifications are always behind, but in case you don't have that, you can always just uh, check it out online to see the specifications for the Lenovo E470 screen. So for my case here, this is the one I'm going to use to replace the old one. So let's go into the replacement right away. So still in the same spirit, just place the screen just like this into the keyboard area then insert insert the lock gently insert or connect the lock into the board this LCD board you connect once you are done you can then clip the clip the lock clip the lock gently So that ensuring that the screen is fitted in well. So once that is done, you put back the silo tape, make it firm. But that silo tape seems to be not firm, so I'll improvise. I'll improvise this one here we'll improvise this one to make it stiff and firm making it firm and stiff ensuring that it's uh, fitted in well well so once that is done we can then put back our screen into its fitting area So we can even first well, put back the four screws 
starting with the upper ones starting with these upper ones here starting with the upper screw then we go to the second upper one this one here oops then we go to the downer ones the downer two you can start from any side that you would prefer so me I would prefer this side then we get the third or rather the fourth one also tightened firmly mm -hmm. so once that is done we then get the, get the screen bezel we then get our bezel and start from the downer base ensuring that it's fitted once that is done you can ensure that the clips are fitted in firmly from the downer side then you move back the upper side So once that is done, we can then connect our cord and power it up to see whether it has been replaced. And uh, once you see the logo, that means our screen is well replaced and uh, it will give us proper good display. Now that we have replaced the screen successfully, don't forget to smash that like button subscribe in case you haven't subscribed and hit the notification bell for more updates on the Apollo diversity solutions it's always a pleasure having you here and uh, see you into the next video cheers peace and love one